here at one side i'm running windows 11 on my macbook pro m2 silicon and here at the one side i'm running mac os version that is the sequoia version now are you ready to unblock the full potential of your MacBook with Windows 11 completely free? Whether you are running a Silicon Mac or an Intel based MacBook, I'm going to show you how to get Windows 11 up and running using VMware Fusion Pro. No complicated steps, no paid software, just a straightforward guide to get you dual booting Windows 11 on your MacBook like a pro. Let's dive in. Just stick around and I will guide you everything about installation and all the steps will be carried out in this video from downloading ISO and installation also encountering some of the problems on the way to install Windows 11 virtual machine on a Mac with a free VMware Fusion Pro with a free personal license I'm using MacBook Pro M2 silicon chip go to the description of this video and click on the user registration link provide your email verify and hit next choose anything in the job title give a passcode verify I accept and create an account. Click on I'll do later and you can save this password in your password app on macOS Sequoia. This is a great feature. Hit save. Close. Once you finish registration go to this page and the link will be in the description. Provide the email you just created. Give your passcode. Click on sign in. You will see this interface just close. Whenever I created account and landed to this dashboard, the, then the VM Fusion 13.5.2 was not available here. So I tried to find so many other solutions. I don't know why it wasn't here. So I went to this YouTube video here. Here he provided three different links. I tried all of them, but only the last one, this link was working and I will paste the links in the description so that you can go and check. After that, I landed to my dashboard and I created a new account as well so once you are here just go to this place and make sure that you are having this cloud option if you can't see you can choose from cloud to other options but in my case this is how it works click on agree and click on cloud and proceed provide your details once you finish all the details click on submit now we have VMware fusion 13.5.2 just go and download it has started downloading its 750 MB file. Here is the VMware Fusion 13.5.2. Double click on it. Click here and it will download Windows 11. Just give your passcode. It's initializing. Here just choose the personal license. Give the permissions. Allow. Open system setting and you can allow there as well. Allow this part. Give your passcode and close here you need to click on get windows microsoft continue it will download the iso file on your macbook continue choose the language i'm using professional download windows i'm going to move some of the files from my external hard drive because i need to save this virtual machine on external hard drive and later i'll tell you how show some patience because it's almost done now this is the path you can remember this path this is the file saved on your computer you can make a note as well i'm gonna copy and paste this path so that i can easily go back and check where the file is located now click on continue choose ufe and here set a passcode or you can auto generate a passcode continue here you can choose the external hard drive to store these files okay choose create a new virtual disk and 64 gb capacity continue here we can customize the location of the files where we can store these files on external hard drive go to custom choose external hard drive let me show you how you can do so we already created this path before now first of all cancel this one and go to your finder go to your Macintosh this one user your name virtual machine here is the virtual machine you can just simply copy this one go to your external hard drive and paste it here this is cut paste not just copy paste all right the file has been saved here if you go there you will see this virtual machine now get back to the setup here customize setting now choose your external drive now you saw this pop-up window just go to processor and here you choose how many cores of the processor you want one core two core three core i'm not doing anything on windows it's just few applications there but i will keep on processor two cores here you can allocate the memory it depends on you i think 40 percent memory should be allocated there and then you can go to hard drive space and allocate at least 
64 GB and you are good to go. Once it's prompt you to press a key, just press a key and then allocate the space, follow the procedure and install Windows 11 on your macOS Silicon. It's easy for Intel but Silicon, this is how you install. Let's wait. It's getting ready. Alright, so here we are with the Windows 10 and here it will ask you for the Microsoft account. You can skip that if you don't have a Microsoft account and I'll teach you how. On your Mac keyboard, you can press Function Shift F10 or if you are using a Magic Keyboard, simply press Shift F10. It will bring you to the command prompt. Here you can write a command. I press the forward slash. It's a backward slash bypass NRO. Hit enter and it will reboot. Select your country, click yes. Select the keyboard and click yes. Skip this part. Talking about signing in for the Microsoft account, you can just skip that after uh, having that command. What you need to do, by staying on this window, go to virtual machine and here, go to network adapter and disconnect from the network. Now click on sign in and it will not prompt you for an email account. Just give your name, hit next. Choose a passcode, hit next, answer a security code. At this stage you can just go to network machine again, network adapter, connect to network adapter, you will have the network again. Just click on next, I accept. Alright, once you install Windows 11 on your Mac OS, then you will see this interface and just go to this folder option here and then go to virtual machine and go to install VMware on your computer. It will burn this picture on your Mac OS and then you need to go to DVD. In the setup, you install this DVD and that will install all the softwares. After that, you can just go simply there and now go to setting and here you need to scroll all the way down and check for the updates. Install the updates here if you want and if you don't want, you can just keep it there. It's up to you. After that, it will install and reboot quickly. Now you're using Windows on Mac OS, Silicon and Intel, whatever system you're using with the help of VMware Fusion 13.5.2. Here you you can go full screen as well like so and now i was confused that how to get back uh, to windows or mac like uh, what to do there finally i found on mac os it's easy here is mac os and here is your windows pc and you can also go and file this window here now one side you're using windows 11 one side is mac os and that's quite easy you just need to locate the vm application there just go to application and here you will find vmware fusion if you just cross this one it will disappear and then you just need to open this app again and you will be back to windows so that you can use both systems windows 11 and mac os in the meantime all right one more important thing there is 6 gb iso file and you don't need that anymore that is located on your macintosh just go there user your name it's here if you want to keep this one or want to send to any of your friends then you can otherwise you can simply delete it it doesn't matter or you can simply take it out to any external hard drive so that next time you want to install Windows 11 on your Mac OS then you can just simply go to this uh, software VMware Fusion 13.5.2 and instead of downloading you can simply use this ISO file to install Windows 11 on your Mac OS. Hope you like this video and if you like thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.